Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now it's not every day that uh, that one is able to find such an awesome deal on external storage. Now I got two of these and we're about to unbox one. They're identical. Uh, the reason I got two is that they were on sale from, new, uh, from Newegg.com and I just couldn't pass it up. Each one of these enclosures, and I'll read on the front, it says quad three and a half inch Serial ATA to USB 3.0 and eSATA. External hard drive enclosure with fan. So let's get into this box of goodness and see what we got. You got your owner's manual. It says Vantech Next Star HX4. Then you got an installation guide. You got some nice pictures on it. If you don't know how to put a hard drive in an external enclosure, this may not be the project for you. So now on this side over here, we have. power block with the connector we have the power cord that plugs into the power block we have an assortment of screws to screw the hard drive into the removable trays. We have an, a serial ATA cable which I will not be using. I'll be using USB 3.0. And then in my hand here I have the USB 3.0 cable which is my preferred method for connecting to my Mac. Ah, we have some little feet, little pieces of, of uh, very soft and noise dampening sticky pads to stick on the bottom. And now, we are about to behold, <laughs> check this out. And that was everything in the box, by the way. We're gonna look at this enclosure. Got this nice little uh, thing on there so it doesn't get messed up. And then, I mean, you can't, the pictures on the website, and before I ordered this, I looked at uh, both Newegg.com and the manufacturer's website, Vantech. The pictures don't do this justice because what I wanna talk about is the quality that I have here in my hands. This part right here feels like aluminum. This part on the top is plastic. You've got a fan on the top. This front display is very, uh, very snazzy looking, I would say. It's, uh, it says Vantech, Vantech HX4. You've got your power logo, and then you got one, two, three, four. And that one, two, three, and four, that depicts the status of the internal drive maximum capacity of four serial ATA drives. This Kahuna right here with four four terabyte drives would yield 16 terabytes of storage. That's right, one six terabyte, wow. And these little trays, let's see, I don't wanna break anything, so uh, before I start tinkering with that, we're gonna look at the uh, at the input output. So it's got, uh, it's got your eSATA port right there, your USB 3.0 port, your power port, and then it's got an adjustable fan speed. That's nice. And it's got an on off switch. Okay. 
And since I do not like to read instructions, I prefer to write my own, you can see that this hard drive bay is locked in now. So what you do, you just gently push over on this, it unlocks it, and that comes out. And then basically what, uh, what you do, this has a screw here, and this, I mean a hole there and a hole there, and that's what you would screw using one of these, two of these screws into the side of your hard drive. And then looking inside there, you can see there's the, uh, the power and the serial ATA connector. You probably won't be able to see that in the video, or maybe you can. You'll see, so that's what the back of the serial ATA hard drive would mate with to communicate and to also receive power. So, I mean, this is, <laughs> for lack of a better word, I mean, this is just one really snazzy unit. I mean, it's, uh, well, since I got it on sale, it was, it was super affordable. And what I think so cool about this is that if you're a Mac person and you've seen the new Mac Pro that should be coming out very soon, you notice how closely this mimics the appearance of a Mac Pro. So my, my vision is to have this Vantech here and then this other Vantech over here and then have my Mac Pro in the middle and it's just going to be like towers of goodness towers of technological goodness. And you're probably wondering why I went with this instead of the RAID version. And the reason I did it is that actually for the RAID, I'm not going to do RAID. I'm going to do what's called uh, disk spanning. So within a uh, Mac OS X, disk utility, and you can do something similar in Windows, but in Mac OS X disk utility, as I add disk in here, and ultimately I'm going to add up to four. And that's, that's something else I want to point out that's so cool about this is that say your budget only allows you to add one drive. Well, you can add one drive and then you come in and add another one and then you add a third and a fourth. And as you add those, you can go into uh, disk utility if you're a Mac user and you can add those drives to the array. The obvious advantage to doing that as opposed to just sticking in drives is that if you just stick in drives, you're going to have up to four different drives appear within your OS. If you use the disk spanning, you're going to combine all those drives into what the OS, in my case Mac OS X, sees as one disk. And as you need more capacity, you just slap another physical drive in here, add it to the drive array within disk utility in Mac OS X, and you can increase your storage. The reason I bought two of these is that this is going to be my primary storage device. And then this other one is going to be strictly backup. So as I add drives to my primary one over time, I'm going to make sure I add, so if I add one drive here, I'm going to add one drive to this one. And the reason being is that I need, uh, I need that backup because I run a large TV network. I run Irish Guys Adventure Channel, and I can't risk losing my video content due to hard drive failure. So this is the this is the solution I've found, and I like to thank my viewers because you've provided some uh, some amazing recommendations, which led to my purchase decision of these two units uh, when I saw them on sale for a super steal of a deal. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's YouTube.com forward slash Irix Guy, and share this video and any of my videos with others. Y'all have a good day.